We're back in LA for the final round of the Formula D Championship. Coming out for what is surely to be an epic battle are number two and number three drifters, Sam Cubanet and Ken Gushi. Sam drives the Mopar powered V10 Viper and is only 11 points behind Reese Millen. Ken drives the Toyota Tires Ford Mustang and is currently 45 points behind first. So whoever wins this round still has a chance to capture the crown for the season, while whoever loses will most likely get third. Let's get with Jared and see who's moving on. in the throttle, the SRT-10, losing him in the Yokohama smoke. Advantage goes to Samuel Hubenet. Make some noise for Ken Goosh, who's a fan of the Goosh. He's our number three points leader, the Goosh. This is a battle of the broad. Team Toyo, Samuel Hubenet. The Goosh with good angle. Sam, he's going straight at it. What is Goosh doing? Gucci is a, what is going on here? Sam, the Gucci is running a proper drift line, and Sam came in really straight. I don't know, I'm gonna go to the judges. I can tell you what's going on there. Andy, explain the madness. Uh, Sam is a little faster going into the oval because of Gucci's car is really heavy and the power is sort of a little bit lower than Sam's car, so he's going to be a little bit slower than Sam. But as Sam creeped up exiting the bank, he strained out the wheel, and I think that messed him up from there, so it screwed up his whole line for the rest of the way. Are we looking at it one more time? We're, uh, I, I hope we see it one more time. I hope we see it because this is the battle of battles. Do you guys want to see him run one more time? Well, you want it, you shall receive one more time! Oh my gosh, the madness! We've got a one more time between Ken Gucci and Sam Cubanet. Let's go to the action! Here we go, Sam Cubanet, Ken Gucci, running one more time. Sam Cubanet, the Mopar Speed Dodge Viper, SRT 10 versus the Gucci Toyo Tires Ford Mustang. Looking real good, both of them. Wow, Sammy moving out with amazing speed. Gucci using all eight cylinders and supercharger on that Ford Mustang. Samuel just fluttering the throttle back and forth. Gucci not far behind. The advantage is even. That's how tight these guys were. Samuel Hubinette. Samuel Hubinette. Ken Gucci, the Gucci. Competition. Whoa, Sam all over the goosh. Sam is using all 10 cylinders. Ken using all eight and the supercharger on top of it. Wow, Sam all over Ken. That was one of the best runs I've seen. Sam did his thing. He tucked in under Ken Gushi. He did really well. Ken stuck with his whole line and everything, but Sam would have the advantage of this one. And moving on to the great eight, Samuel Hubenet! Sam Hubenet takes it, pushes Ken out of the running. Now Sam's got a chance to win the whole thing. What is it like going against such a tough competitor so early on in the event? You don't expect to see this until the finals, maybe. No, I mean, we were both uh, standing talking, me and Gush, you know, about, but hey, this is not where we want to be. We want to battle in the, for the final, you know. Now one of us can be kicked out, and that's such a bummer. Uh, he's such a great driver, and I wish I could have him up with me further up in this battle today. But uh, you know what? Uh, I'm happy, and uh, every achievement today is just going to be a big blessing. Coming out now is Falcon Tires Vaughn Gittin Jr., driving his fourth car of the year. Now, this is an unusual run because Alex Pfeiffer made the round of 16 despite the fact he stuffed his S2000 into the wall during qualifying. 
Unfortunately, they couldn't fix his car before the tandem rounds, which means JR gets a bye run and automatically advances to the round of eight. JR, can we talk to you for a second? Yeah, I mean, if you can. I'm a little out of breath from that last. I'm really fighting on that car last run. I, I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. How did you manage to beat yourself? I try really, really hard and uh, you know, do a lot of practice. And, you know, I, I guess it's all paid off. You know, when you can beat yourself, what, what more is there? Cubanet has an incredible battle, and Von Gen Jr. slides in with an easy bye to the round of eight. All right, that's it for the round of 16. Coming up, we've got the hard eight. The season championship is still on the line.